In Lab 4, we use the Digital Out class to actually set up our red, green, and blue LEDs. Now, the way we did this, we said Digital Out, we gave it a name, and then we specified the pin. But we also have, as well, public member functions such as Write and Read. So let's take a look at how we could actually have coded up our program for 4A a little differently. Now, this is Lab 4A. This is the code that we did. And I've changed it slightly here to comment out what we did and put in our public member functions, as we'll see. Now, if you remember how this works, DigiLoad, as we saw, allows us to take a name and associate it with a pin. And we can either put this name here, LED underscore red, in capitals, or we can say PTB22 for port B pin 22. There's a number of ways to specify the physical pin, but this label is now associated with that. Now in the digital class, what we're doing is down here, if we say LED underscore red equals one, we're putting the value one into that pin. In other words, setting that pin high to shut off that LED. But if we want to use the public member functions, we'd say LED underscore red, the same name, dot write, which is our public member function, and then what value we want to write to that pin. And it does exactly the same thing, but it's using our public member function. Now down here, if you'll see, we said lead red equals exclamation mark red lead. And what that involved, first of all, was reading what this red lead had on it to begin with. And so over here, we've got exclamation mark LED underscore red dot read bracket bracket. So what this is doing is reading the current value of the red lead on port B pin 22, inverting it, and then it's saying LED red dot write, write the value that's the invert of the one that we actually read. So this is using our public member functions to do the same thing. And what we're going to have to understand is how public member functions work as we start looking at analog in and analog out classes. Let's take a look at our analog in class. As before with digital out, we have analog in, a pin name, and the actual pin that we're going to associate with that analog input. We have a couple of member functions, one called read, which is a float, and it's going to return a value from 0.0, .0 to 1.0, from min to maximum of our A to D input. We also have unsigned short, read underscore U16, for unsigned 16-bit or short, and it's going to return a value from 0 to FFFF or the equivalent decimal from 0 to 65,535. So our program says analog in input A1. So we're using input as our uh, pin name and the actual pin is A1 on our header and that is our pot. So we're going to use our pot as our A to D input. And if we look down here what we have is value 1 equals input dot read underscore 16. So that's going to get the short value from the pot and we have value 2 equals input dot read which is going to get a floating point value from the pot and then we're going to put those up on the screen. Okay as I turn my pot from completely right to counterclockwise we can see the values on the screen changing. Over here they're in being displayed in decimal from 0 to 65,535 and over here they're displayed from 0 to 0.9 or practically 1. So as I turn our pot, you can see that this value is changing in both as a short and as a float. 